hello guys welcome to my channel teach something and in this video tutorial i will gonna show you how to fix up um, the application was unable to start correctly and show this type of message in windows 11 10 as well as uh, windows 8 and 7 so how can fix this type of error let's get started before starting of the video i humbly request you please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so let's see start Okay guys, in this video tutorial, I will share a couple of methods to fix this type of error. The first method is that, first of all, uh, right click on a start menu and go to Jira run. Open a run and type a temp temp and open it. After that, select it and delete all the files and folders. Close it. Once again, open a right click on a right click, go to Jira run and type a percentage temp and percentage after that open it select select all and control the delete all these files after that right click on a start menu and open a run and type a prefetch select all these files and delete it after that close it after doing this that I hope your problem is fixed but your problem is still then you can try a next method the next method is that go to your uh, control panel go to your control panels click on a uninstall a program click on turn all windows features on or off after that select a 3.5 network framework as well as select a network framework 4.8 uncheck it and after that once again check it and click on ok button After I close it, after that restart your computer and I am sure that after doing this that your problem is fixed. But if your problem is still then you can try a next method. The next method is that in the search box type a cmd and open a command prompt right click run as administrator. After opening the uh, command type a command is chk dsk and press enter. After that, the process will be started and it's required of a few minutes to complete this process. After completing the process, after completing that, type a exit and exit the command prompt and after that restart your computer and I'm sure that after restarting your computer, your problem is fixed. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel.